How's it going guys? Dan here from Who Figure Adventures and today is Doctor Who Day. I'm joined by, with a very special guest, Charlie. Charlie. What's up? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, today is Doctor Who Day, uh, special two, Wild Blue Yonder. Now what do we know about Wild Blue Yonder? We know it's called Wild Blue Yonder. <laughs> Uh, we know nothing about this episode at all. It's it's kind of mad. Um, whether that's because they're hiding something huge, or RTD wanted to do something he's always done and have some have an episode be kept completely secret. We don't really know. Um, we know that um, RTD said a while ago that the opening to special two. Sorry if I'm getting this a bit mixed up, but but he said something along the lines of the opening to special two. They filmed out in the open, uh, and uh, I think he said with a big guest star, and he's very shocked that it weren't seen or leaked or anything like that. Um, I think he said he he said something along those lines. Then a bit earlier, because I think we all we. We all kind of thought that this episode was all st studio based in that um, on that spaceship, but it turns out it isn't all studio based because there was this one picture that the BBC put out of the Doctor um, running out of uh, a fire with TARDIS out in the open. Uh, whether I can find it or not is another question. Why don't I just type in Doctor Who? That might be a good idea, but. Yeah, um, what would there be guest stars? I don't really know. Um, I like to think that there's something big being held back from this story. So that's that's the one that I'm on about. Ooh, there we are. So that's a picture out of me open, tenant running out the TARDIS. Um, yeah, quite exciting. Um, what's being kept back, we don't really know. I'm hoping. Oh, I mean, obviously, the big hope is d old doctors, but whether that's the case or not, we don't know. Charlie's very excited, <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't really know what to expect. I can't really give a bit of a pre-episode analysis review because we know nothing. Um, scary. It's going to be scary, they've said. Uh, RTD has reiterated quite a bit that it is going to be a bit of a scary episode. So, we're just going to have to wait and see, really. It's currently uh, 10 to 5 when I'm recording it. Cut. Excuse me, when I'm recording this. So, there's still a good hour and a half to go. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, hoping for uh, some old companions. There's rumours of Susan. Um, there's rumours, obviously there's some rumours of old Doctors in some kind of form, whether they're there, whether Matt Smith is there in this episode as the 11th Doctor, or he's some kind of dark shadow, shapeshifter thing, we don't know, we don't know, but it's going to be exciting finding out, isn't it? So, Doctor Who, special, uh, 60th anniversary special to Wild Blue Yonder, bring it on. No idea what's gonna happen. I'm given up with a full Who Universe logo. I don't blame him. So we're outside location footage then. Oh, Isaac Newton. <laughs> of, of course. Odds, Bodkins, what the devil? Sorry, we're just slightly out of control. My friend Donna, this is Donna, Donna Noble. Ah, oh, she's <coughs> dropped some coffee into the console. But don't worry, he's got a time machine, which means he can blame me for all eternity. I just need to triangulate. Could you tell me what year this is? Wait a minute. Apple tree, apple. Man holding an apple in 1666. <laughs> you, Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac. Oh, not yet. Spoilers. Spoilers. Yeah. Have you got the control set to famous or what? If I had controls, thank you. You can appreciate the gravity of Oh, brilliant. Well, bloody hilarious. And off. <laughs> that TARDIS looked pretty good, Ben. 
Mavity. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> was that about opening that RTD wanted to keep secret? Please save a fix for logo. We've had a week. And it's the same. Jesus! And on we know nothing. Nice. Christ, look at this. Very big. Is that that robot? Hello? We just landed. Look at this. Okay. Look at this. Oh, what's that then? I turned it off years ago, man. I wonder if it's faster than the order. That would be quite good. Seem theories of this could be a TARDIS. I mean, I don't know. What was that? Everything I feel like we learn or theorise about this episode, the less we understand. <laughs> right, I'm excited for the unleashed episode, teaching David Tennant how to draw by that. Look at him. Just seeing the effects and stuff like this just gets me so excited for Shooter's era. I mean, it's going to look amazing. Well, it's definitely a spaceship. What kind of spaceship? Because I think the last time the effects looked this good was World Enough in Time and Doctor Falls. You know, the spaceship, the opening shot of that spaceship was phenomenal. And he licks it. No. Yeah. Brilliant. <clears throat> no. Oh! Oh! oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Separating. Can you still hear me? Is he. Is he still there? Well, there's also a... Oh! Cloned! Oh, okay, something's happening. My arm's too long. Look. Oh, that's weird. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's okay, I'm here. I've got you. Whatever this is, we can... I... Oh, no, that's weird. I don't like that. <laughs> you want to take that's fine. You can do it. Oh no. <laughs> I'm the doctor. This is Donna. Oh my god. This just reminds me of that Red Dwarf episode. Officer Wimmer. Oh my god, that's oh no, that's weird. I think it's for what else could it turn into? Except it's not. What? what do you mean? Here we go. Time was shot. You don't know where you're from. How do you know that? The flux. It destroyed half the universe because of me. Yeah. <laughs> we stand here now on the edge of creation, a creation which I devastated. So yes, I keep running, of course I do. How am I supposed to look back on that? It wasn't your fault. Yeah, as I say, it wasn't really your fault, though. Right, that's real dot. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot which, which came out of which. Why does he travel with someone as stupid as you? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's supposed to be terrifying, but I just find it hilarious. But salt. You can't cross salt. 
Where's it go at? Full one. A line of salt until they've counted every single grain. Oh, that's oh, oh nice. Storm. Oh, I've one of the funniest things in this, these whole specials. And what is that? Stop thinking. <laughs> Jesus, there's still so many cool questions. Oh, Jesus. No way any of them are going to make it. Not even with the copies. Oh, Jesus. Go on, Tenant. One thing you're good at. Oh, never mind then. Oh, but which one's? <laughs> oh my. Okay, I'll take him a mic. God, imagine if it was wrong one. Oh God, it is for wrong one. It's a wrong one! No! Surely not! Surely not! Todd is gonna rematerialize now. I, what? Yep, he's worked it out. Your arms are too long. Ah, there we go, thank God. Where are they? Where's the family? Oh. Wilf. Might be a day or two. Oh, uh, a day or two. Oh, my goodness, Donna! Oh, my goodness, Donna! I said so! <laughs> Wilfred Mott. Oh, now I feel better. <laughs> now nothing is wrong. <laughs> nothing in the whole wide world. <laughs> Hello, the old soldier. I never thought I'd see you again. <laughs> After all these years. Oh, Doctor, that lovely face. <laughs> it's like springtime. And Donna's got a memory back. Without dying, which I recommend. Yeah, well, I knew it. I never lost faith. I said, he won't let us down. He'll come back and say... What's going on? Enter Neil Patrick Harris any second. Oh, Jesus. No! <laughs> That's our own. Secrets. Oh. Wouldn't it have been best to. Doctor, we meet again. Next time, trailer. The time Lord and the toy maker. One final game. <gasps> it's time. Oh my god. <laughs> Doctor Who, next Saturday at 6 30, BBC One and iPlayer. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Oh Christ! <laughs> so, wow, well, that episode, um, not what anyone expected. <laughs> I think that's fair to say the least. Um, no cameos or anything like that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I think at the end of the day, RTD just really wanted a story that was kept completely secret. Um, and why not? It's something he's talked about for years and years. He wanted to keep. Um, what did he, he wanted to keep the regeneration a secret or something back in the first era, or journey or journey's end a secret? Something he wanted to keep something secret. I remember, but it's just something that he just couldn't. Um, but yeah, wild blue yonder. Um, Quite a good story, a very scary one. I, I mean, I found the effects on the Doctor and Donna just more hilarious than anything. But I do see the, where the scary fact is going to come in. Kids are going to be terrified of this special. Um, but let's talk about him. <sighs> Wilfred Mark, Bernard Rubens. Oh, he just lights up the screen every time he's on. He lights up the screen. Uh, I wish they didn't put the in memory at the end of this episode. I wish they put it on the end of the next one. Um, 
maybe they'll do it at the end of the next one too but I feel like next week's will be one to really sort of remember him by because <clears throat> obviously he's in the, well more of next week's uh, we're presuming I'm hoping that that's not it I don't think it'll be it because there's been some filming pictures and stuff so yeah um, yeah I'm just trying to think of what to say really it was a bit bog standard uh, there's nothing really special about it I'm trying to look at it as a episode really a normal bog standard mid-series episode then a special uh, to celebrate 60 years of Doctor Who but yeah it's uh, it, it, it was quite quite good and just goes to show how good Tennant and Tay are uh, we've got some aftermath development for the flux and the timeless child uh, which was exciting to see uh, didn't really go into much detail though but what sort of detail can you really go in with it now it's it's with every stuff we learn it's just about we we get a very sort of I'm fine kind of answer from the doctor so didn't really expect much um, yeah it was just nice to see that TARDIS again of course and just them to just oh uh, I mean it's what we knew going into these specials right it's going to be Ten and, and Tate and that's exactly what we got to be honest with you um, but yeah just trying to think if there's much else to really talk about there isn't really because we've just probably just discussed the main story but wasn't that much going on the set design gorgeous absolutely gorgeous you can really see the Disney money being spent here um, and then the end I think I nearly cried at seeing uh, seeing Wilf um, I hope that'll stop all the internet people going oh he's not in it he died a year ago I mean he filmed it all before he's in the giggle and he was also in Wild Blue Yonder so yeah so next week then Regeneration Um. I mean, oh, I've got to just go back and look at actual trailer again because it was just stunning. I just take my headphone back in. So, Doctor, we meet again. No, Patrick Harris. So that bit where he's up in the sky, puppeteering the Doctor. He's actually puppeteering. The Doctor saw the straw wings just then for a second. One final game. Now, that shot of the regeneration with the clouded back round that we first saw with a, what the hell is going on here scene. Um, that's the shot where, te uh, where RTD said, oh, that back round is fake. It's not a real one. But that regeneration effect looks good. I can't wait to see the Disney money on that. And then... It's time. Oh, there he is in the TARDIS. Now the jukebox is there. That we saw in the original TARDIS... ...leaks. But doesn't Shooter Gower look amazing? It's actually going to be kind of sad to see Tenon go again. Uh, when, you know, he got announced to be coming back and everyone was like... Oh, we're going to have to see Tenon regenerate again. I thought... You know... Grow up. He's here for three stories. You know, you can't get that attached to him. But <laughs> I'm afraid I've got a bit attached to him. Um, so we're saying goodbye to Tennant next week. We're saying goodbye to Catherine Tate. We're saying goodbye to Bernard Cool Wibbins. And we're saying hello to Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, it's going to be exciting. So that is all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. Tell me what you thought of Wild Blue Yonder. Uh, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.